Well, the question is always asked of me, well, who are these top 20 longevity cultures? And, of course, you can get a hold of the uh, book uh, Epigenetics, The Death of the Genetic Theory of Disease Transmission, the book Immortality, and the book Rare Earth Vin Cures. Great details on these top 20 longevity cultures, but they do have 23 common threads. Number one, they're all third world cultures. You notice I'm saying cultures rather than countries because they represent a very small micro culture within a large country, even places like Okinawa. It's not the entire island chain of Okinawa, okay? It is just one little culture living up in the mountains who are the long-lived people. People in Okinawa City, you know, die 50, 60, 70, like everybody else in industrialized cities. But uh, there's one little culture up in the mountains lives to be an average of 85, okay? So they're all thorough cultures. Um, they are um, illiterate. There's not an industrialized nation in the top 20 longevity cultures, all right? And then uh, you throw in the fact that these people have all this other stuff. They have no hospitals, no emergency services, no clinics, no doctors, no private or government insurance. So how come they have 40 times 100 as we do? Why do they have 100 per 250 their population? We have 100 per 10,000. Well, they do get all 90 essential nutrients. Daily they get the 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids, and we'll get into that in a second. They have uh, large concentrations of particularly rare earths and the 60 essential minerals. Rare earths are very important. They double the lifespan of laboratory animals. Again, they're discussed in great detail in the book Epigenetics, the book Immortality, and the book Rare Earths Men Cures. They all live on a calorie-restricted diet. Not that they know the science, but they're very poor. They only take in 600 to 900 calories a day, whereas in America we take in 2,500 calories a day on the average. Antioxidants, uh, Americans take in about 18,000 auric points a day, O-R-A-C, oxygen radical absorption capacity. These people take in an average of 25,000 to 50,000, okay? Um, let's see here. They have no bad stuff, no bad stuff. Uh, you can't go through a drive through and buy fried foods or carbonated drinks because they have no roads, no cars. Who's going to build a drive through or people moving around on foot or on burrows, okay? Now they have no utilities. They have no electricity, no natural gas, okay? They have a universal source of fuel, but it's, it's wood, okay? They put their wood ashes, which are really plant minerals, into their gardens. And because these little cultures, the demographics where these people live, and they have high levels of minerals, sometimes it comes from their wood ashes and glacial milk, you know, the land flowing with milk and honey. Uh, we're talking about glacial milk that comes out from under the glaciers. It's a uh, high um, uh, levels of um, suspended um, uh, minerals. Okay, these are colloids, not solutions of minerals. It's not clear mountain stream water. It looks like milk coming out from underneath the mountains and underneath the glaciers. And uh, we have the analysis of these glacial milks in the book um, Rare Earths Men Cures. And then, of course, let's see here. Um, we're looking at... Um, the uh, demographics of these people, okay, they are every kind of um, race and people as you can think of. They live on the coast. They live in the mountains. They live in valleys. Uh, in the eastern hemisphere, uh, we're looking at the Hunzas who, who live in the Hunza Valley in the Karakurum Mountains, which separate uh, northern Pakistan from China. Uh, they're the longest lived people uh, in the eastern hemisphere, and they irrigate with glacial milk. They still put their wood ashes in the garden thousands of years after their culture was uh, initiated. And the story is, again, in the book, uh, Rare Earths Been Cures and, and uh, Im Immortality and Epigenetics. And then in the western hemisphere, the longs with peoples are from the Nicoyan Peninsula in Costa Rica, in the Pacific coast of Costa Rica, in uh, Central America. And, of course, uh, part of the magic here is uh, these peoples uh, do get their um, uh, 90 essential nutrients, right? They get their uh, 50,000 auric points. They get their 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 fatty acids, and their rare earths. And they don't get any bad stuff, okay? No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, right? And they live on a calorie-restricted diet. And it's really very exciting when you look at the very basic stuff, okay? The fact that they have no utilities, no electricity, no natural gas, and as a result, they're forced to use wood as fuel, and, of course, the trees suck up all these minerals. They burn the wood for fuel. They throw the plant minerals, a.k.a. wood ashes in their gardens, 
And for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years, these people yet today continue to use wood for fuel. They're getting their mineral supplements from the wood ashes put into their gardens. They eat the food that are rich in these things. Now, when you look at here in America, why have we suddenly lost 85% of the mineral wealth of our soil? Well, it's because we've dammed up rivers to um, build electricity and, of course, no more flooding. And it was was spring flooding, which left silt when the water would recede. It would leave silt, which are the minerals from mountains, hundreds, maybe even thousands of miles upstream. Also, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Monday, September 4, 1882, on Pearl Street in New York, in the bluff overlooking the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge, Thomas Edison pulled the switch on the first commercial electric generating plant. And within 10 years, every industrialized nation moved from what is the universal fuel to electricity no more wood ashes, no more spring flooding, okay, because of the hydroelectric power and the unintended consequences, no more flooding, no more minerals. And that, as Paul Harvey would say, was the rest of the story. Don't forget the book Epigenetics, the book Rare Earths Been Cures, and the book Immortality gives you all the details so you can employ this in your home, and you will be amazed at the energy, the health, and the longevity you're going to get. You'll, you'll maximize your genetic potential. We'll be back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie for these messages. The antioxidants found in many fruits and vegetables are known to help support and promote good health. Research has also shown that dark chocolate, once known as the food of the gods, is rich in healthy nutrients. In fact, dark chocolate is higher in antioxidant content than any other food. Longevity has combined a proprietary blend of velvety-rich dark chocolate with whole fruit pulp and whole fruit juice extracts from mangosteen, goji or wolfberry, acai berry, and cherry, along with vitamins and minerals, producing a smooth, rich, delectable concentrate called Cocogevity. It tastes so great, I sometimes drink it right out of the bottle or pour it over ice cream. Cocogevity is highly bioavailable, meaning your body will absorb and make use of all of these healthy nutrients. If you'd like to learn more about nutritional supplementation, call your local Longevity associate. And don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. In recent years, several studies have discovered the healthy benefits of drinking coffee. Longevity has now taken it a step further with an entire product line of healthy coffees from Longevity's JavaFit line of top-shelf gourmet coffees. All JavaFit coffees are made from 100% premium, hand-selected Arabica coffee beans grown in the finest regions of Latin America, all carefully roasted, creating a delicious, rich, full-bodied flavor. If you're looking to lose weight, try JavaFit Diet Plus 62, a high-energy, gourmet coffee fortified with a blend of nutrients such as gambosia, citrus, and an extra shot of caffeine to pump up energy and help achieve a healthy weight. Unlike most diet drinks, you won't taste a difference. But for this to work, you can't load your coffee with cream and sugar. Contact your local Longevity distributor to get Javolution coffees. And don't forget to ask about the home-based business opportunity. Okay, Doug, what pearls of wisdom do you have for us today? I thought we'd talk about uh, cancer drug spending as we have a story here from Reuters headlined, Global Cancer Drug Spending Hits $100 billion, that's billion with a B, in 2014, according to IMS Health. And they say that's an increase of 10.3% from 2013, up from $75 billion five years earlier. This all from IMS Health Global's Oncology Trend Report. And uh, they say $100 billion, which represents 10.8% of all drug spending globally, includes supportive care drugs to address things like nausea and anemia. They go on to say that's driven by expensive, newer treatments in developed markets. It's... It's uh, seen to be rising to $117 billion in the next couple of years. And by 2018, they believe it'll be up to $147 billion. And that's a compound annual growth of about 6 to 8%. And they say there's waves of new similar drugs that uh, spur the immune system to fight cancer. They're being developed by Bristol-Myers Squid, Merck, Roche, AstraZeneca. According to Murray Atkin, uh, executive director of IMS's Institute for Healthcare Informatics, He's quoted as saying, 
We're in for a period of intense competition among alternative treatments, which is a different dynamic than we've seen in the past where progress has been a little slower and individual drugs had a little more time. Uh, in the U.S. It accounted for 42.2% of total spending, followed by Germany, France, Britain, Spain, and Italy. The big five European markets' oncology spending rose 14.7% of total drug spending, up from 13.3% in 2010. U.S. oncology spending increased to 11.3% uh, of the total from 10.7% over the same time period. They say medicines that target a specific protein or genetic mutation as opposed to chemotherapy now account for almost half of the total U.S. cancer drug spending. 45 new cancer drugs were launched between 2010 and 2014. And, you know, Doc, as I read that, I thought, you know, if people would just, you know, get a lot of antioxidants in their system, over 100,000 like you say, this wouldn't be a problem because probably people wouldn't get cancer at the rates that they're getting it at this time. Well, you're exactly right, Doug. Uh, cancer is not genetic. I'll repeat that. Cancer is not genetic. It's a self-inflicted disease. And, of course, it happens because people take inflammatory foods. Uh, just cooking your meat very well done, according to a big study from the University of South Carolina, um, a large group of women. I mean, we're talking, I think it was 90,000 women, the you know, Harvard Nurses Health uh, Project, they looked at the way they cooked, and women who cooked, these nurses who cooked their food, um, very well done, particularly meat, very well done, where the fat was browned or burnt, tastes good. People love to eat that stuff, but it increases the risk of breast cancer by 462%. You supplement with 100 micrograms of selenium every day. According to Dr. Gerhard Schrauser, it uh, reduces your risk of breast cancer by 82%. So if you take your 90 essential nutrients, take some extra selenium, uh, cook your meat, medium rare instead of very well done, you reduce your risk of breast cancer by about 525%. And so why would you not go that direction instead of saying, I'm just going to eat all this bad stuff and I'll have insurance that's going to pay for all this high-priced stuff so I don't get nausea during treatment. It's an insane process. And um, things like uh, chemotherapy and radiation fail 97% of the time, and oftentimes it's the treatment that kills you when you have cancer, not the cancer. And so you really want to prevent cancer, and you're exactly right, Doug, you want to get over 100,000 org points. I get over 100,000 org points every day through the Cell Shield RTQ, the Coco Jivity, and the Triple Tree Chocolate. I also make sure that I'm getting the equivalent of 1,000 glasses of red wine a day for my resveratrol through the Cell Shield RTQ, in addition to the 90, plus my selenium, plus ate my meat medium rare. All right? We got to take care of ourselves. Well, thank you, Doug. Really good information. And we'll be back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie for these messages. Imagine a rich, decadent chocolate that's actually good for you. Longevity's Triple Treat Chocolate is just that, an antioxidant-rich dark chocolate complete with probiotics to aid in proper digestion. This all-natural product contains no preservatives, and for those with dietary restrictions, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, glycemic-friendly, and kosher certified. Not only does Triple Treat dark chocolate taste fantastic, it contains super antioxidant blueberries to absorb free radicals with an auric value of 16,936 per piece. Triple Treat chocolate also contains a proprietary blend of probiotics with over 500 million live healthy bacteria per 8 grams at the time of manufacture, with 80% reaching the intestines, which is much more than most live culture yogurts. If you'd like to learn more about nutritional supplementation, call your local longevity associate and don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. Through his research as a veterinarian, Dr. Joel Wallach discovered that most health problems afflicting livestock can be prevented and even reversed. Many of these same health challenges also occur in humans. These too can be prevented and reversed. Doc's original formula called the pig arthritis formula alleviated all arthritis symptoms in animals. The same basic formula has been developed for humans called the pig pack which includes plant-derived minerals, a multiple vitamin complex, glucogel, and EFAs. Add to that Longevity's Osteo FX Plus, a proprietary blend of liquid calcium, magnesium, and glucosamine. Now you have the Pig Pack Plus to make up the 90 essential nutrients Dr. Wallach has identified as necessary for sustained good health and longevity. If you'd like to learn more about nutritional supplementation, call your local Longevity associate. And don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. 
You've listened to physician and veterinarian Dr. Joel Wallach help many people on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie talk radio program. You've also heard hundreds of people tell how Dr. Wallach and Longevity products have changed their lives. If you're now convinced that Dr. Wallach is onto something and you want to try Longevity's premium quality products for yourself, we can connect you with a distributor that serves your local area. Simply call our special helpline voicemail at 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call right now and leave your name, telephone number, or email address, and we'll see to it that the right person contacts you shortly. Remember, the phone number, 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call now to change your life. That's 313-444-3463. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Independence, Missouri, and Doug, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Doug, you're on the air. Oh, hi, Doc. Yes, uh, sir. I have a horse farrier. That is, I'm just been telling everybody about the crusade, saving people's lives. But he he sees horses every day, and he keeps running into. Him. Hello. And he was sure he was wanting any kind of help. Okay, I, there. I missed. I missed. You said he, and then I didn't hear what you said. Oh, he's a horse farrier. Yeah, I got that. What's the, what's the problem we're talking about here? A navicular. Mm-hmm. Cribbing okay. And foundering in the spring when the a field turn green. Sure. Okay, well, navicular, of course, is a mineral deficiency, okay? It's a little bone in the heel uh, of the feet of the horse, tendons attached to it, and it gets uh, osteoporosis, and when the tendons pull on it, it doesn't feel very good, right, and can cause fractures and everything in in the hoof itself, inside the hoof, the bones inside the hoof. And so, um, basically, for a 1,000-pound horse, what I like to do is use a one eight ounce cup of our bloomin' minerals that come in bags of forty pounds of the of the granules of the bloomin' minerals. It has seventy eight minerals, including all sixty essential minerals. One eight ounce cup of a garden bone meal that's been tested for excessive lead and that kind of stuff. Uh, and then another eight ounce cup of a sweet feed that has molasses in it, kind of like um, Ralston Prina's Omeline three hundred kind of stuff. So you have an eight ounce cup of the um, three hundred. Uh, eight ounce cup of the bone meal and eight ounce cup of the bloomin' minerals, and I'd feed that twice a day to these horses. And um, uh, you need to, you know, give it to them twice a day. Usually within a couple of days, they really will feel better. Within a couple of weeks, uh, you've supported and promoted maintenance repair of the cartilage and bones and ligaments and tendons, connective tissue uh, all over the horse, not only just inside his hoof. And uh, then. Um, I, I would keep that, especially if they're working horses. If these are show horses, they are ones that pull wagons, uh, they're working horses where cowboys use them and that sort of stuff, race horses. And so definitely they need to stay on this, I uh, like, every day, every month, every year, okay? And uh, he'll be very happy with the results, and um, uh, horses love it. A- after a while, um, sometimes on a horse that weighs maybe 800 pounds, you might be able to cut it back to one dose a day instead of twice a day. But a thousand pound horse, you want to be giving it to him twice a day. There's no guarantee of how much mineral is in Timothy hay, alfalfa hay, prairie hay, that kind of stuff. And so you have to consciously give them minerals and including their trace mineral salt block. Great question. We'll be back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie for these messages. You've listened to physician and veterinarian Dr. Joel Wallach help many people on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie talk radio program. You've also heard hundreds of people tell how Dr. Wallach and Longevity products have changed their lives. If you're now convinced that Dr. Wallach is onto something and you want to try Longevity's premium quality products for yourself, we can connect you with a distributor that serves your local area. Simply call our special helpline voicemail at 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call right now and leave your name, telephone number, or email address, and we'll see to it that the right person contacts you shortly. Remember, the phone number, 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. 
Call now to change your life. That's 313-444-3463. Hi, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, your host of Dead Doctors Don't Lie. If you're interested in a colon cleanse, blood cleanse, liver cleanse, you know, in the classical herbal way, you want to ask your longevity associate for Herbal Rainforest. Herbal Rainforest has 16 herbs, 16 cleansing herbs, classic cleansing herbs, and 77 plant minerals. That's right, and these are all organic. It doesn't get any better than that. In your busy day, and you're around all these toxins out there in your workplace, on the way home, going to work, in your food, in the air, in the water, you need herbal rainforest. I guarantee you, it will give you a cleanse. You can control the dose. It's a liquid. It tastes good. It doesn't get any better than this. A colon that's happy makes you happy. Nothing better than a happy colon. Herbal rainforest. Clean it out. For more information on this product or others you've heard about on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie radio program, call your local Longevity associate today. And don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. Greetings, everyone. Judy DeVilbis here. What do you think of when you hear the words tangy tangerine? Well, I think of like a sweet, tangy tasting something. Well, what I'm referring to is the ultimate tangy tangerine. It's a fantastic product. It has everything you need, and a great benefit is it's very, very delicious. It's very easy to drink. I've suggested it even to youngsters. Even children like it. Even little guys. Even little girls. They come right into my office. Their parents can't get them to take those chewable and besides that, they're not as good as tangy tangerine. And I give them a little taste of that, and you know something? They're pleased as punch. So, if it's good for a child, and it tastes delicious, why not you? There's no excuse not to take a vitamin when it tastes as good as that does. So how about it? Tangy tangerine should be the answer to all of your nutritional program problems. For more information, or to order, call your Longevity distributor today. And don't forget to ask about Longevity home-based business opportunities. Let's head to Oregon, and Janice, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Janice, you're on the air. Hello, Dr. Wallach. Hi, how can we help you? Well, I'm just as nervous as I was the last time I talked to you. I talked to you on April 21st. I have atrial fibrillation. Mm -hmm. I neglected to tell you that I'm on blood thinners, and I'm my INR this morning was 3.0, so my blood's getting a little thinner, I guess, from the the fish oil, I'm, I got all the supplements you told me to get. Well, what you need to do is, uh, you know, get the doctor to help you reduce your blood thinner, okay? Because you want to be in the right range in your numbers, but you also need your nutrients. And so when when your blood gets too thin, the doctor's going to say, get rid of your supplements, and then you die of a stroke. Right. Okay? So what you want to do is say, how much can I reduce my blood thinner if my numbers are this high? Let him give you the number, Okay cardiologist is not into supplements at all. He doesn't even know anything about them. Yeah, but that, that, that's not the answer to the question. The question is he's going to have to tell you how much to reduce your blood thinner. Right. He doesn't have to know anything about the supplements. Just tell him that your INR is too high, right? Right. And so how much do I reduce my medication? He's going to say, don't eat green leafy vegetables. Well, that's an absurd response. You know, have him reduce your medication. If he won't do it, get on the phone, find another cardiologist, and, and have him help you. You know, the world's full of hungry cardiologists right now. <laughs> okay? And then call me and let me know what he says. Okay. Okay, kiddo. Thank you so much for feeding back. All right. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, this is one of the most terrible things that the medical profession does is they just do not understand nutrition. They have this um, failed medical theory that your genes are autonomous things that just do what they're going to do regardless of your nutrition status, good or bad. Um, They think that um, drugs are the answer to everything. Surgery is the answer to everything. And they never remember, they never remember that your body requires 90 essential nutrients, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, 3 fatty acids to, uh, to maximize your genetic potential for longevity and health and fending off disease and speed and strength and intelligence And this is why they have such a horrible record. This is why they kill, injure, and infect 15 million of their patients at workplace every year. Okay? And so uh, we have to take control here. And Janice uh, did the right thing to follow up with me. And now she'll either get that cardiologist to help her reduce her blood thinner. And I don't know if it's warfarin or cumin or what it is or another one. But the guy who wrote the prescription is the one who should reduce it because he has all the records and all this and the other, right? Okay, Doug, we have time to start another one? Uh, we're just about at break time. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and remind everybody about my new tools that are out. 
Epigenetics, the death of the genetic theory of disease transmission. This book answers all your questions about the failed theory of, of genetics. And then, of course, the new DVD, Somebody Needs to Go to Jail. And my new CD, Public Enemy Number 1, If You Thought Dead Doctors Don't Lie Was Good, where do you get this stuff? Epigenetics, Somebody Needs to Go to Jail, and Public Enemy Number 1. Call your longevity associate today, and we'll be back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie for these messages. I am Judy DeVilbus. Here I am speaking to you again. I just wanted to tell you that recently I started drinking the whey shakes again, the chocolate whey shake. And you need to remember the whey shake isn't just for losing weight. It's a fantastic place to get your great protein. And if you're trying to gain weight, you can take it along with your meals. And the best part is if you want to just have a great protein shake, do like I do. Put it over ice, stir it up, and you can sip on it for 20 minutes to an hour. I do it every single day. I absolutely love it. You need to get back to it, too. It's really good for you. And it makes not fat, but it makes muscle after you work out. And you can also mix it up in a blender with an egg, and you have the most incredible health protein shake. Or mix it with a little water, stir it up, and you have a little pudding. And who doesn't like pudding? For more information or to order, call your Longevity distributor today. And don't forget to ask about Longevity home-based business opportunities. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Wisconsin. And Kathleen, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Kathleen. You're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Hi, how can Thank I help you? Thank you very much for all your, your hard work and your sharing your information. Well, you're very um, kind. Talk- how can we help you today? <laughs> um, I neglected to tell Doug the thing that I'm trying to correct is I'm totally blind, and the diagnosis was uh, retinitis pigmentosa. Now, I've taken all the supp- supplements I was um, suggested to take, and the problem that I'm having today is... Um, the tangy tangerine and the vanilla appears to have too much sugar for my body. I had uh, hepatitis. Uh, no, no. I had. Um, oh, the. Okay, well, stop. Of diabetes. stop! 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 We're wandering all over the place here. Do you have type two diabetes? No, no, no. I said that by accident. I have um, the opposite of diabetes. I can't think of the word. Hypoglycemia. I, Yes, yes, yes. And I've been managing it from 70, since 1971, and okay. I thought I had no problem with it. But when I take the tangy, tangy tangerine and the um, uh, vanilla mixture, I think you're I'm talking about the osteo, to, You're talking about the OsteoFX? Is it the white powder that's vanilla flavored? Yeah, that's OsteoFX. It's a calcium and mineral powder, yeah. Water. Well, I think I'm getting into too much sugar with it because I started out the 15th of April and I quit at the 30th of April because I, was, I, I didn't have diarrhea at the beginning, but at the end it was just violent. So okay, okay out- stop, 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 stop. Okay, that, that's enough information. Um, let me ask you do, you, do you still get drowsy after meals? No, I never did. Mm-hmm. And so how does, your, how does your hypoglycemia, how does your low blood sugar manifest itself? Oh, it only manifests itself when I have too much sugar. Then I no, no. What, what what happens? What 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 does it do to you? It causes me to have diarrhea and vomit at the same time. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Um, yeah, that's not a that's not a typical reaction for hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia you usually get drowsy. You could get sweaty. You could get headachey. Um, that kind of stuff. You you could pass out. Those are hypoglycemia type things. When you get diarrhea and vomiting, um, that, that's something else. And I would suspect, do you, did you, do you have a history of constipation or diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome, diverticulitis, anything like that? No, 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 no. I was totally okay, but I'm blind, and so that's how I came to your products. Because yeah, I understand. Well, stop, 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 stop. I'm the one that needs to answer the questions here. We're, we're, we're wasting too much time. Okay, you're going to have to call me another day if we keep going like this. You said you have diarrhea 17 times here, okay? I hear you. But I need, I need you to answer my questions because I can't help you if I don't know what's going on here. So you don't have typical symptoms of hypoglycemia. You have typical symptoms of a digestive problem, and I'm trying to figure out what causes that. Now, um, what I would do 
here is to take our ultimate enzymes. I would take one or two of those. What do you weigh? I didn't even ask you. What do you weigh, Kathleen? 102.2 pounds. Okay, so you're a tiny lady, and so 102 pounds. Uh, I would go ahead and take one of those ultimate enzymes, a capsule, two minutes before each meal, two to five minutes before each meal, with a couple ounces of water, and that's going to acidify your stomach. Okay, I want to acidify your stomach. I want to sterilize your stomach so you don't have any yeast and bacteria growing in there, which uh, can um, uh, cause gas and all kinds of stuff, which can result in nausea and diarrhea and so forth. Then I would cut your doses in half. At 102 pounds, uh, a dose for a 100-pound person may be too much for you in the beginning, so you may want to just cut it in half and give yourself a half a dose every day instead of a full dose every day. You may want to cut that half a dose in half and take a quarter of a dose of breakfast and dinner. Let's try that, but throw in that ultimate enzymes, add that to your program. In the meantime, cut the dose in half and cut the half dose in half, so you're taking a quarter dose of breakfast, quarter dose of dinner time, and um, then, you know, call me in a week after you've done that, and let's see how that works, and um, then we can deal with the retinitis pigmentosa. It's a, it's a cousin to macular degeneration, and even if you, you might be legally blind for 6, 8, 10 years of macular degeneration, We've been able to support maintenance repair of the retina, and so they're able to, after 90 days, read 2020. Okay? So we may be able to help you with the retinitis pigmentosa because it is sort of a variation on macular degeneration. So we're going to work on two things at a time. Meantime, cut your dose in half, get the ultimate enzymes, let's go that direction, and then call us in a week. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's go to Missouri. Ed, Margie, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Well, Margie, you're on the air. Well, hi, Dr. Wallach. Hi. Hi. I have had troubles with headaches about at least once a month. They're bad. My history in the past is that I, about 20 years ago, was diagnosed with Meniere's. I have not had an acute attack since during that first time, but just so you know that. I am on Tangy Tangerine 2.0 and the minerals. I take omega-369, selenium, and calcium chews. I wondered what else I could do for these headaches. Okay, now do these headaches coincide with your cycles, or are you not cycling anymore? How old are you? What do you weigh? I am 59. I weigh 140, and I do not eat gluten now. I've just started that about a month ago, but I do not. Are, are you still cycling? Are you still having periods? No. Okay. All right. Um, Meniere's disease, of course, is, is osteoporosis of the skull. Uh, this is where you get uh, maybe some nausea. You get ataxia, a little, um, almost like you um, have motion sickness, correct? Yes. Do you have any tinnitus? Do you have any ringing in the ears? Sometimes. Okay. Do you have any problems with skin, eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, or bowel problems? No. Okay. This is a Char thing. Char, are you there? I'm here. Okay, 140 pounds. She's got osteoporosis of the skull, squeezing the roots of the eighth cranial nerve, uh, primarily the vestibular branch, which results in this um, uh, nausea, the motion sickness type, uh, ataxia. Kind of thing, tinnitus, maybe the auditory branch of the atrial nerve, but very commonly the atrial nerve, and this may be related to the headaches also. Uh, what would you do for a 140 pound person with osteoporosis of the skull? Well, she's already taken the products, but I would add more calcium and glucogel to it. Yeah, and 140 pounds, I would treat yourself for 200 pounds at this point because you have clinical problems. As Char says, you need more, and so I would take two healthy bone and joint packs. Okay, per month, that's uh, one ounce of the osseo twice a day, uh, 15 glucogel a day, five at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, take the CM cream that comes with the, with the um, healthy bone and joint packs. Uh, put a half a teaspoon down in your ears two or three times a day. Uh, use a Q-tip, put the CM cream down in your ears like you're trying to get wax out of your ears. And I've had people with tinnitus ringing in the ears and Meniere's disease. It's now actually called Wallach's vertigo, so you can look it up under Wallach's vertigo. And... Um, you can see that I've had people who had these problems for 25 years, I mean outrageously debilitating, and in 10 minutes they get clinical relief. Now it'll come back in three, four, five hours, but that's only relief from the CM cream going down in the ear. It takes four to six months with, you know, with a very intense effort here, staying away from carbonated drinks, everything you can do to maximize absorption of the minerals. And um, you'll be able to support and promote and maintenance repair of your bones all over your body, including the skull. And you can actually get permanent relief after four to six months, but you get temporary relief in usually 10 to 15 minutes with the CM cream going down your ears. 
including the headaches. We'll be back after these messages. Many believe that all life began in the Earth's oceans. We do know that the oceans and seas are still abundant with life and life-sustaining nutrients. Many cultures have long believed in the life-giving properties of plants and sea life harvested from the oceans. Longevity's Ocean's Gold is a proprietary blend of seaweeds, algae, mosses, kelp, sea cucumbers, and sea minerals, as well as coenzyme Q10 calcium, and iron, all designed to help support healthy thyroid function, regular heartbeat, normal weight, mood stabilization, and hormone levels. Take advantage of life-sustaining nutrients from the Earth's oceans with Longevity's Ocean's Gold. If you'd like to learn more about nutritional supplementation, call your local Longevity associate, and don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. In recent years, several studies have discovered the healthy benefits of drinking coffee. Longevity has now taken it a step further with an entire product line of healthy coffees from Longevity's JavaFit selection of top-shelf gourmet coffees. All JavaFit coffees are made from 100% premium, hand-selected Arakaba coffee beans grown in the finest regions of Latin America. All are carefully roasted, creating a delicious, rich, full-bodied flavor. For an extra boost, try JavaFit's Energy Extreme 62, a proprietary blend of nutrients including cambogia, green tea extract, an extra shot of caffeine, and niacin. Designed to support metabolism and enhance physical performance. Available in single cup or single pot packs. Contact your local Longevity distributor to get Javolution coffees. And don't forget to ask about the home-based business opportunity. You've listened to physician and veterinarian Dr. Joel Wallach help many people on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie talk radio program. You've also heard hundreds of people tell how Dr. Wallach and Longevity products have changed their lives. If you're now convinced that Dr. Wallach is onto something and you want to try Longevity's premium quality products for yourself, we can connect you with a distributor that serves your local area. Simply call our special helpline voicemail at 313 444 3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call right now and leave your name, telephone number, or email address, and we'll see to it that the right person contacts you shortly. Remember, the phone number, 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call now to change your life. That's 313-444-3463. We're back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Young Givity, 90 for Life Crusade. And Doug, let's go to callers. All right, let's head to Florida. And Gabriel, you're on with Dr. Wallach. So Gabriel, you're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Yes, sir. What's up? I called you a few weeks ago. I was over 400 pounds. I had the edema problem, the, uh, the disc problems in the back, and uh, had a frozen right shoulder, could hardly move it and uh, feet were swollen and also numb. I couldn't hardly feel them. And uh, as of this past Saturday, I've been on ASAP two weeks now. Uh, was a little more than I thought I was. I went to the doctor after I talked to you. I was 472, but I know I've lost since then. My glasses are falling off my face. My clothes are getting bigger. My legs are going down. I can feel my feet and toes again. And okay, the pain so, you, so you may have been you may have been five hundred pounds instead of four hundred pounds. Probably. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I feel good and uh, working with the program and uh, just just called to say thank you. Okay, yeah, and so your toes are feeling better because you had a peripheral neuropathy, right? Yep. Very good. And yeah, we actually had uh, one pastor out in um, just recently in North Carolina. He weighed four hundred pounds. And in seven months' time, he lost 257 pounds and got off of dialysis and got rid of his, his medication. He's an ex-diabetic and all that kind of stuff. And you are taking the 90, right? Yep, and my blood sugar has, at one time it went to 160. It's not gone over 150. Uh, two or three days I dropped below 70. I dropped too low. The blood pressure has come down. Uh, so you dropped down to 70 a couple of times in your blood sugar. 
Pardon me? You drop down to 70 in your blood sugar? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, we want you to be around 90. And so, yeah, that's great. See, you're responding very, very nicely. You're going to do very well. And that my blood you're... pressure today was 122 over 68. Okay, now, you weigh 472. Your blood pressure is 123 over 68. Are you on medication for blood pressure? Uh, Lacetopril, but I cut the pill in half myself. Okay, good. And so your pill's in half, and yet you're still 123 over 68. Yep, I was taking 80 units three times a day, and some days I skip a shot. I'm down to some days 30, 40 units. I've cut it down. That's fabulous. Thank you so much, Gabriel. Why don't you give us a report every couple of weeks, okay? All right, sure will. Love you, brother. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, Doug, how much time we have here? Just under two minutes. Just under two minutes. Okay, now, Shar. Yes. Now, we see this all the time, the response Gabriel's getting, don't we? Yes. And so this is not an unusual thing. It's when people are absorbing like they're supposed to mm -hmm. and they take the you know required amount based on their body weight, it always works. Well, here's a guy who's 100 pounds more than he thought he was. <laughs> He's losing weight. His blood sugar's dropped. His blood pressure's dropped. He's in just a couple of weeks. In just a couple of weeks, his peripheral neuropathies have gone away. No more numbness and tingling in his feet. Okay? And it'll be very interesting what his doctor will say in another month. Because uh, these guys, they'll lose two to four pounds a day. In a month, that's 60 pounds. I mean, he could be down from 472 down to 400 in a month or a month and a half, certainly. And... Um, it's, it's really uh, very exciting to see these things, and and uh, just remind people. A lot of people may be new and they haven't, you know, heard your story. Do you have any medical training? Absolutely not. I know you've had some special courses in high school. What'd you take? Actually, it was after I was out of high school. I wanted to do some some a divider between my living room and my dining room, so I took a course in welding. Okay, welding course. <laughs> That's very cute. Okay, now tell me. Um, how many people do you have in your group you're responsible for every month? I guess it's over 500,000 now. Yeah, over 500,000. How many countries are you working in? 17. 17. And tell me, uh, you've been very successful in helping literally thousands and thousands of patients every month, right? Yes. And how much do you charge them for your help? I don't charge them a penny. Well, Young Jimmy pays you okay, don't they? They sure do. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Great job, Char. Thank you so much, Doug and Richard. Superlative job as usual. Great testimony today. Uh, thank you so much. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our troops. God bless our Navy SEALs. And God bless America. Hi, everyone. Andy Anderson here. Are you using those handy little bottles of gel that zap germs, bacteria, and other nasties? In today's world, that's smart, especially with all the filthy doorknobs, shopping carts, and handrails we touch every day. Here's what you may not know. Once the alcohol evaporates, goodbye effectiveness. No more protection until you use it again. Pure works to the rescue. Our FDA-compliant foam, lotion, soap, and spray do not rely on alcohol. Their killing power lasts up to four hours. Pure Work Disinfecting Spray is EPA certified to kill swine flu, bird flu, MRSA, HIV, hepatitis B and C, and a whole host of viruses and bacteria, mold and fungus too. It's even safe around children and pets. You'll love the soft feel of Pure Works on your hand. It actually conditions that will not dry your skin. Here's a little peace of mind knowing your hands are still germ-free hours later. Get your hands on Pure Works and get Pure Works on your hands. Stand by. Pull out your paper and pencil for your local number to order Pure Works.